tale is nothing more than a statement. A statement that this led to this, led to this, led to this, and there's how it ended up. So an early storyteller would be able to say, okay, I'm going to tell you about this situation that if you start here and you take this series of steps, you end up there, and it's a good thing or it's a bad thing to be there. Large good, small good, little bad, big bad, but follow these series of steps from this starting point and you'll end up with this thing that's good or bad. There's a certain amount of power in that. You can fictionalize it and try to tell people this is a path to stay away from because it's bad. This is a path to go towards because it's good. And so you end up with fairy tales and things of that nature, which often are nothing more than a tale. They're not really stories. But what kind of power could you get? What kind of power could you get if you were able to expand that and say, this is not just true for this particular case, but it's true for all such similar cases. In other words, if you start from here, no matter what path you tried to take based on this particular problem you started with, it wouldn't be as good or it wouldn't be as bad as the one that I'm showing you. Then the message of your story is, this particular path is the best or the worst. It's no longer just good or bad. It's the best path or the worst path, path to take. Now that has a lot more power to it because now you're telling everyone else, exclude any other paths, take only this one if you find yourself in this situation, or if you find yourself in this situation, no matter what you do, don't do that. That has a lot more power to manipulate an audience. But because you've only shown the one path, but you say it's better than any others, you're making a blanket statement and an audience won't sit still for a blanket statement. They'll cry foul. They'll at least question you. So if the caveman is sitting around the campfire and he says, this is the best of all possible paths that I've shown you, the audience is going to say, hey, wait a minute, what about this other case? What if we tried this, this, and this? And then if the author actually was able to prove his case to successfully argue his point, then he'd be able to say, well, in that case, such and such and such and such and such and such, and you can see why it would end up being not as good or better than this path that I'm touting. Then another person brings up another one and says, what about going down this way and trying that? And then if the point can be well made, then the storyteller, the caveman, is able to say, well, in that case, such and such and such and such, and can, you can see the point that I made, the blanket statement, is still true. Well, eventually, either something will be found that is better than what the author was proposing, or the author will be able to stick it out and counter all of those rebuttals and convince the audience, yeah, that's, that's the case. Now, you won't have to counter every potential different way of doing it uh, when you're telling the story live because the audience will only come up with a certain number of them before they're satisfied that the alternatives they think are most important to look into have been adequately addressed. But the moment that you record the art form, the story, the moment that you put it into a song ballad or a stage play or a motion picture or a book, as soon as that happens, you're no longer there to counter the rebuttals. And you also don't know what rebuttals will come up. So if somebody looks at your story as a movie in the theater, and they see that some pathway they think ought to be taken wasn't even suggested, then they're going to feel that you haven't made your case, because maybe that would have been a better path, for example. So what do you do? You have to anticipate, in a recorded art form, all of the different rebuttals that might come up about other potential solutions and show why these other potential solutions could not be as good or as bad as the one that you're proposing. Proving, therefore, that if all appropriate alternatives have been explored and yours is still the best or the worst, then you've made your case. You've successfully argued your point and the blanket statement is now considered a successfully argued um, argument. So, to a conclusion. So, in order to do that, you have to anticipate all the ways the audience might think of solving that problem alternatively. In effect, you have to think of all the ways anyone might think of solving that problem alternatively. In effect, you have to include in your story all of the different ways any human mind might go about solving that problem. And in so doing, you create a model of the mind's problem-solving process, the story mind. You've created an analogy to the mind itself. Now, you never set out, set out to do that. It was a byproduct, never intended. No caveman ever sat down and said, you know, I think I'll create an analogy to a single human mind trying to deal with inequity. No, it didn't happen that way. But in the process of trying to communicate across a medium, a recorded form, 
and successfully argue that one particular situation is better than all other potential ones, you need to put in all the other potential ones and you create a model of the mind quite by accident. But once that's happened and once it's recognized, you can now look to that model of the mind from a psychological perspective. Psychoanalyze the story and you find everything that's in the human mind represented tangibly incarnate in the story in some form or another in the structure. That's what Dramatica was all about. When we had that Rosetta Stone, we then threw ourselves into documenting the psychology of the story. And we documented the story mind, we created the theory, we created the software to implement a major portion of the theory that allows the author to answer questions about the impact that he or she wishes to have and have this story engine then predict the structure necessary to achieve that particular impact.